Hi, today's question comes from Marianne. She wants to know what is the perfect diet and she's been reading a lot about the ketogenic diet in particular, but she wanted to know my opinion on the perfect diet. I'm gonna give her my four golden rules to the perfect diet, all right? So let's get started. Number one, the first rule to the perfect diet is making sure you get all your essential nutrients that your body requires every single day. As human beings, we all, all of us, have essential things that we have to put in our body every single day so that we function at our best. Number one, water. We all need water every single day. Now, the rule of thumb is about a half, half your body weight in water in ounces. So if you weigh approximately 150 pounds, have about 75 ounces of water per day. Number two, Every single person needs protein. We all need essential amino acids every single day. My rule of thumb for protein, make sure you get about one gram per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, make sure you're getting about 150 grams of protein per day. Number three, another essential thing that our bodies require every single day, it doesn't matter who, no, it doesn't matter who you are, you need this, essential fats. We need essential fats, specifically omega-3 fats, to function at our best. Now, some omega-3 fats that I love are wild-caught fish like salmon, flaxseed, uh, I love chia seeds, hemp seed, and walnuts. Those, those, those fats are rich in omega-3, very healthy for you, and they're essential to your uh, existence to make sure that you're healthy and your brain's working better, your cardiovascular system's working better, crucial for healthy living. Now, fats like olive oil, avocados, coconut oil, they're super healthy too. They're very good for you, but they're not rich in the omega-3s. So make sure you're getting healthy fats, but specifically also rich in the omega-3s. All right. The fourth thing that's not necessarily an essential, I call it a non-essential essential because it's so important, so critical for the health of your cardiovascular system, for your digestive system, it decreases type 2 diabetes, is fiber. Our country gets about 15 grams of fiber per day on average. The, the recommended scientific study dose is 25 to 30 grams of fiber so that we're really functioning at our best. So, Fiber in the forms of fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds. Very important for your health, critical as an essential nutrient, great for your digestion. Make sure you're getting enough. Now, if you're one of those people who does not get a lot of fiber on a daily basis, it can be a little bit distressful to your digestive system if you pump it up right away. So slowly build your fiber up, but aim for about 25 to 30 grams a day. So those four things, water, protein, fats, and fiber, those are essentials. No matter what diet you're on, you need those every single day to function at your best. Now, the second golden rule to the perfect diet is avoid foods that you know are bad for you. Now, generally, I always pretty much take people off of conventional meats and dairy because they can have pesticide residue, steroids, hormones. They're not very good for you. I take people off genetically modified grains and processed grains and sugars such as wheat and rye and barley. Those foods that have not been sprouted, foods that have uh, higher lectin content, those foods I take away from people. Some people I take beans away from them, right? So there's certain foods, high sugars, we take away from, from pretty much everybody. However, certain foods specifically have an effect on some people that don't have on others. And so people, when they really pay attention to their diet, pay attention to that, how they feel with food, get a feel for what foods might work for them and what foods might not. For example, I have patients that are vegans that eat plenty of beans and they are amazing in health. They're, they feel great. They have great energy, great digestion. And then I might have a patient who, if they have beans one time, feels horrible. So you have to pay attention to your specific needs and what might bother you as far as one food versus, versus another. So 
Of course, try to generally get rid of the, the foods that we know aren't good for you, the processed grains, the sugars, conventional meat and dairy, but also specifically pay attention to what might bother you the most. Number three, going in with that, with that uh, thought process, the third most important thing, my golden rule for a perfect diet, is to journal. Write down everything you eat, everything you drink, and how you feel. Do you feel energetic after a meal? Do you feel lethargic after a meal? Do you feel bloated? Do you feel like you're ready to go run a marathon? Do you feel great or do you feel bad? How you journal really enables you to understand what food and what you're drinking is doing for your body. And that will allow you to go back to number two, to really figure out what foods work for you and what foods don't work for you. Now, the fourth most important golden rule to the perfect diet, and this is the critical one, is make sure you're having fun. Make sure you're committed to it, that it's doable. So many people read these books and we see these pictures of these amazing people on these books and on Instagram and we wanna look that way or feel that way. So we say, I'm gonna do that diet. But yet, after two weeks or two months, if we don't look or feel that way, we don't keep it. 90% of all diets after one year are, are eradicated. Not, only 10% of people keep their diets after a year. So it really, the, the most important thing is, is this a diet you could stay committed to? Because if it's not, it doesn't matter if it's a good diet or a bad diet. If you can't do it, you can't do it. Make sure that you can stay committed to it, that you have fun with it, that you feel healthy with it. That's really the most critical thing when it comes to dieting. Something that you enjoy, something that you have fun with, that's what you're gonna stay focused with, that's what you're gonna stay committed to, and that's where you're gonna see the greatest results. So those are the four golden rules to a perfect diet. Pick something that you love, that you have fun with, that you enjoy, that makes you feel healthy, Journal, write down everything you eat, everything you drink, so you see how you feel, what works, what doesn't. Number two, stay away from the foods that you know don't work for you. Obviously, do your best to stay away from the generally bad foods, but really stay away from the things that target your body in a bad way specifically. And number one, make sure every single day you're getting the essential nutrients your body needs to function at its best. Those are the four golden rules. I hope this helps. Have an amazing night. And if you have any other health questions, always feel free to reach out. Thank you very much.